cuando brother llega y me saluda, siento que todas esas preocupaciones que tengo sobre el día, pensando en mi futuro, en mi pasado, en mi presente inclusive, se van de repente porque siento esa presencia de Dios en él. For me, regardless of how bad the day goes, if you are, if you see kids, it's it it just recenters you. Again, it's I think that incarnational spirituality of encountering Christ in the young people entrusted to your care. That brings a sense of welcome and belonging to the school. I I grew up in a home I, I think where, you know, the Virgin Mary was like a, an extra an extra member of the family. My mom and dad talked to her uh, every day. Uh, they talked to God every day. Uh, you couldn't leave the house without uh, say, saying a prayer. You couldn't uh, come back without giving thanks. And and I think the, the, at the time, I don't think you appreciated it. At the time, it, it, it seems uh, you can even become a bit of a snob and think it's formulaic and, and pious. Um, but as you get older and wiser, I think you realize that's the faith that sustains you. I think that they, they had pushed, you know, beyond limitations to really see, to, to see God as someone they encountered every day, someone who surrounded them. Their faith was like the air. At the end of every year, it's, it's sort of bittersweet and you're, you're, your heart is full and, and you sort of think, that's it. I, I can't possibly love more kids than this. And then, and then the miracle happens and August shows up and suddenly there's this whole new crop of kids and you love them just as much and your heart expands. And that to me is just um, the miracle of our vocation to, to constantly um, learn to love in, in new ways and, and in new expressions. Going through our ups and downs, he was always there for us. He, he was funny, he was kind. and. He was brutally honest. He helped me get through a lot of things with his, with his spirit and his honesty. I love Brother Nick. I mean, there are physicians and they save lives, but so do we. You know, so do teachers every day. Um, all these patients in front of you um, with all these different conditions, and this one has an allergy and that one has a different condition, but that you If you open your heart and your mind to allowing God to work through you, that you can save lives. St. John Baptist of Assad. Now and always, if Jesus in our hearts. Forever.